Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on your bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Coming from Yolanda Mukonde International. Guys, we are almost at the finish line. Here is your last chance to win the lip sync challenge. Let's go challenge the challenge. And remember to tag me and Nzanzi Magic and use sounds of okay, okay, okay. So guys, remember the last time on how your faves actually um, killed it all with the sync challenge, right? We had um, Yolanda Mukondi, we had Sinaye, we have Zintuzi, we have mitch and makeke yeah so right now which they ask their fans to participate to be able to win something for themselves right so now it is given five days to go to participate so if you're their fans and you're interested and you've actually not partake on this challenge i think you should do so you never can tell you might be the next person to actually win the thing game meanwhile i'm talking about makeke right um this person here, Z, my cardiac organ, says, I have a soft spot for my KK man. He is such a nice person. And then guess what? Z did reply as she says, love him so much. You know, um, I think my KK is also this kind of person that he's a real person. I think that's one of the reasons why he went far on this game. Not necessarily because of, you know, people have this notion about my KK um, being Bravo B's friend right but bravo b was supposed to get to the finale according to people remember he left the first week so because of um bravo b left and makeke was his best team hence the fans actually started you know rooting for makeke i really do accept for a fact that um bravo b fans actually went for makeke but at the same time i feel makeke would have also lasted on this game because of his originality i do not know about you guys but that's what i think about makeke meanwhile after z said um loving him so much you know uh this person said oh sana sam he is so genuine we love him so much too so the z fans are actually you know because they've been trending um makeke and z's picture i've been seeing their picture flying on the tl calling them the sibling ship they never saw coming yes okay guys um z revealed this one she says got a special delivery today can't wait to meet the odogus you know in Zay's fan base they are actually divided into groups i think maybe so in other fan base i do not know but i know that of z right i know that of z because there was a time she was live and she was actually listing some of the groups on her fan base she said she do see their names you know they have the odogus they have so so so, so they are plenty so right now the odogu seems to be like the rich answers then because odogu is an Igbo word which is rich like you're a you're like you're a big chick you get the point so it may seem as though people in that odogu fan base are the rich aunties and now they have given zintuzi and ivy slated for the 30th of this month it may seem as though it's another time to actually treat zintuzi so sweet because hmm, this invitation is not just gonna be an anyhow kind of invitation it may seem as though they want to spoil zintuzi a little bit meanwhile we just have to wait till on the 30th to see what the odogu fan base from the zintuzi fan had to do you know meanwhile let's see um what how the z fans reacted towards this one after they revealed that the odogu fan base invited her so this person says we cannot wait to meet you they will treat you like a queen 
oh odogu mummies odogus even already before i could even assume the name already being an Igbo girl a confirmed Igbo girl any anybody called odogu you will know that is a strong one you know god bless odogu group man you guys must be patient and wait for thursday don't go fishing for information but definitely i know it is something huge for zinti yet again just like they gifted her the other day you know all right guys this is coming from sinaya sinaya says i am so thankful to god for the people that he has placed around me in this time of my life god always provides at the right time thank you my lord you know guys there are sometimes you just sit down you know you tend to think about your life you'll be like oh my word god you have been so awesome you've been so grateful i think that was the mood sinai was on when he actually posted this one and then zintu's notes he said most importantly snipers the queen is the first sniper he saw him first and loved everything about him 2024 must be the best year for you king wahala wahala that means sinai will never be free if he posts something z must be included if he posts something sinai must be included she passed una to the duo all right these are some of the replies sinai got god is good love that about god when he shows up he shows off exactly god is good truly sometimes we just need to sit back look so look into our life see how god has been doing his wonders in our life meanwhile guys talking about how grateful sinai is their fans as the ship has actually have actually been trending remember the time when um sinai posted about love and money you know and then they are like oh wow and it was with him and z you know the, the title of the song he used was love and money so People were like, when they said love and money, this is what they mean because the two of them have been winning and been working together, you know. Hence why he used that music. One song by Whiskey, the title was Love and Money. I also share with you guys then when um, she passed to keep so personal, they are like, yes, um, there is something really going on with this ship. Sinai used love and money for Zintuzi's picture. You know that kind of a thing I just said, you guys there. You know, there is no drama going on on the TL that I don't bring to your doorstep. That's one thing I am very proud of okay guys talking about winning um simply sk has this to say are you all aware that if brands want you they just want you you can trend everywhere and every day but if you're not the type they are looking for it is useless example mitch he doesn't trend much but damn guy is more is the most booked because he works he got that thing in jail so you remember the other the video i shared with you guys how people were saying that um they should focus on trending z for z to appear on the top charts and i said something about to me it's not about appearing on the top charts to me is just do you and the important thing is your faves are really winning so this person is actually almost saying the same thing as me but the difference between me and this person this person is actually tagging yolanda now and liema and z uh, and the person now repeated it again tagging the three um top ladies of the season saying if brands want you they want you guys mitch is perfect example that that you don't need to trend every day or fans tagging brands for them to work with you you just need good undercover management not one indirectly shading others you know so this person called on these three fan base because of course we all know that they have these three peeps have like one of the highest fan base you know they both have high fan base and then they are like this person is like saying oh you don't need to be tagging brands to actually get the gig as mitch was cited as an example all right guys this is coming from cc worldwide cc said that is cc of the cma ship cc says if they really didn't think you were a big deal there would be no noise and then this person says facts on facts the other person said exactly only a successful and a talented one they can keep dragging because their fave is talentless it is called pain like i told you guys when i see the drags on liema and z and other housemates i said it's only a tree that bears fruit that people throw stones it's just a perfect example of what liema sorry um cc has to say here meanwhile there is something this jane said that actually got me i'm like yo is this one really okay this person says multi-choice left liema in the desert with no water sana why are they not using her post show? They certainly used her antics for ratings during the show. Even the sponsors of the show don't see her. Now I pause. What do you want the sponsor of the show to do with Liam Apple's show? 
the game is over the show is over you guys have actually trended Liema to be the production pet so what do you expect to see her i don't get because i don't know if somebody can explain very well to me what do you mean by um you think they left her in the desert with no water is it the same Liema that is trending back to back is this the same Liema that is enjoying her life? <laughs> or more, you guys just need to heal. If you don't like these peeps, let them be. Talking about not liking these peeps. All right, this person says, Papi says Liema is shapeless. Yolanda, Liema has the face, but not the body. And then Liema, say no more, guys. Anyways, why is this one happening? This picture of Liema, there's this um, picture she posted recently that her behind is actually looking like, you know, there is huge something there. So the fans are like, she's wearing pampas she's wearing napkin she's wearing this just to make her backside to show because she has seen on the clips where papi yolanda and their cohorts were actually saying something about um liema's body i'm like is this how much you look into the lives of those peeps like is it how much you look so they're not using the picture of liema in the house they're actually merging it together with the other one for people to see that this is the real Liema. What is going on with this picture right here? Was he editing? No, they were just dragging her because of that. Anyways, guys, Liema said I should tell you guys that. Okay, let me read this from her. Hello, my beautiful lilies, Lee Flames Legend. This is my new TikTok account. I will use this one as a backup while the other one is being recovered. Thank you for your support. Remember, um, recently the Liema fans have been calling out on her to actually restore her TikTok account. Of course, fans, yes. People from other fan base hacked her TikTok. This is what we're talking about. How much all those people go so hard because of stanship. You know, they hacked her TikTok account. She could not even have access to that account anymore. Hence, she has not been posting on TikTok. So right now, this one is the new account she is using. So if you're Liema fans, you have to follow her up on that account. You know, so as you would, you know, get to see what she have for you guys on TikTok. All right, coming from Glammy. I am so glad brands are starting to take BBM housemates seriously. Fela Kadla, it was cricket for this housemate. You get, it's actually commendable because staying in that house under scrutiny can't be easy. They definitely need some recognition of sorts. You know, of course, um, the BBM housemate has this tag of um, they are not being recognized just like other BB you know, housemates. But right now, the standard has changed ever since the baby titan happened. Yes. Okay, baby Z said, Big Brother fame is actually very short-lived. When you bag the opportunity, use it wisely while you still have a bit of clout. No loyalty whatsoever because Big Brother is the ultimate fave. And then this person says, People are rather concentrating on sheaves. And the other one says, Whatever rocks their boat to, as long as it is putting food on their table. Um, people have, have this notion of um, Biggie himself or whoever Biggie is, is the ultimate fave because people every season will definitely move to new housemates. So the housemates currently should actually utilize this opportunity before next season will start. But I think one thing is this year, even when the housemates move to new housemates, they never stop standing their faves. I've seen the like of Mercy, the like of CC way back from Seagull, um, what was it called? What was CC season again? They are, her fans are still standing true for her. Mercy since her season, they are still standing true for her. Those people has also have um, new fan, fan, uh, faith, sorry, but yet they still st um, come true for their faith. So I think having a new faith does not mean you ignore the, your other faith. So I don't think you need to put all this pressure on those newbies, right? There is no need for all of that, okay? Anyways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies